Can I now invite the outgoing leader of opposition in parliament say something and then hand over and can I also invite Honorable Senyonyi Joel to come and take up this seat. Clap for my love. What's wrong with you? Much obliged, right, Honorable Speaker. First of all, a happy new year to everyone here. Allow me also to join you in um, initially congratulating uh, General Ali for the recognition, but also pass on my commiserations to him and the family for the great loss, the Honorable Speaker. Thirdly, to congratulate you in uh, successfully hosting the Commonwealth Speakers. I was particularly intrigued, uh, but also had my curiosity aroused by your own opening statement to the conference, um, especially when you emphasized the importance of the independence of parliament and uh, emphasizing the doctrine of separation of powers in the way we execute this public duty. I hope everybody had and that you lead us in asserting our mandate as parliament uh, right from there onwards. That said, right on the speaker and colleagues, allow me to take this senior honor to initially thank the people of Nyendomukungwe who brought me to the fore to be at the service of country and uh, made my party recognize my capabilities and humble abilities to serve as a team leader over the last two and a half years. Let me speak up. <clears throat> I remain eternally grateful for uh, being allowed to offer myself for service uh, to this great country. So in the same breath, to thank you and the right honorable deputy speaker for uh, the immense cooperation we have had as leaders in this house to be able to steer the house this far with so many challenges, it falls, but with the gusto to carry on, even when uh, things look tough sometimes, that's the essence of leadership, right, Honorable Speaker? I thank you so much, and the Deputy Speaker, in absence, for uh, uh, what we've been able to do as leaders in this House. Allow me to also thank immensely colleagues across from my side and across the aisle. Um, for according me space and uh, the opportunity to speak to them, sometimes in a tough way. And I know that sometimes I've stepped on toes. Um, but I never set out to be personal in any way. I've been at the service of the country. And if anybody felt personally offended, I take this occasion. Um, offended by my approach, but I always set out to do the best for the country. Right now, Speaker, uh, I felt at this moment that uh, probably you allowed me an extra minute to inform the House that I did not meet the Right Honourable Speaker in Parliament. We met way time back when she was still uh, teaching at uh, MOOBS. In fact, at one time, she was seconded by MOOBS to teach in my college. So you can easily say, I did one sign her check, paycheck. 
So we are not meeting in the House as a speaker probably for more than 18 years as somebody had known. At one time, she was blue and white. Apologies for formerly being a blue. And along the way, the sun shone upon her and she became yellowish. She became yellowish. You see, that is the, the beauty of freedom. All of us, whatever we are and stand, must respect the choices people make. And when they make choices, those choices must be for the service of common good. That should be well understood in no uncertain terms. I respect the right one of the speaker because she made her choice. And then see where she is. That was her choice, and I respect that choice. My only call to her is to make use that choice to serve common good. Secondly, right now, speaker, with your intelligence, I neither met the deputy speaker here. You know, he was my student of politics. He was a young man and I was a senior in the field. Him and others used to get my tutorage when he was still a blue, and we worked well. When he chose to cross the blue line and he became a yellow, that was his choice as an adult. So we shared a lot then, and the two have my immense respect as it is over the house. I am bringing this out to appeal to every one of us to understand that we occupy this public space for a purpose. And that purpose must not be for the sake of it, but to change the trajectory of this one country we call home. And when we are members of parliament, then that space is even more distinct because they call for duty is beyond the ordinary and we must be here and look at each other from both sides of the aisle as servants of the people and at all times we must invite common good to prevail right on the speaker i would like to appeal to the house to afford my successor the same support so that common good is served The Honorable George Senyonyi, young as he is, but he's very reasonable. And he deserves our support so that we continue the duty we have started, both as NUP, a very young party, but also as the opposition in our quest to see a better tomorrow for our children and for posterity. So that when history books are written, they will have space to say, they met in the house. They were different. They opined differently, but they converged to the center to put forward common good. That should be act in the history of our work. Let me speak uh, over the last few days. I've been reading uh, a small book written by uh, Hemin Sumini titled The Things You Can See Only When You Slow Down. Okay, it's, it's a good title. The things you can see only when you slow down. Sometimes the, the, the train is so fast that you can mistake a tree for an animal that you need to, to stay on the pedal, the, the middle pedal to see your direction, and the trajectory of the nation. I want to invite every one of us to look for that copy and read it. So sometimes we need to slow down and understand better our surroundings. Maybe some of us are so fast, and therefore we lose sight of what matters. So we need to really look out for 
our surroundings and understand better where we need to go. To my young brother, Joel, I'll uh, look for my copy of a book titled How to Hug a Porch Pine. How to Hug a Porch Pine. It, it was edited by Dr. Debbie Ellis. It's very good reading. You know, you will get in your position. Honor, honorable members, he did not say conchubine. <laughs> That's why you're laughing. <laughs> I said it's not a a... Porch pine. P O R C U P I N E. Oh, do people here allowed to hug conchubines? I said conchubine. Thank you, Adonis, for correcting them. They were going to look for a, 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 that, a title that does not exist. I was only passing on a humble message to my young brother and now leader on how to find space to hug porcupines. Porcupines, by their nature, are difficult people, but they are part of life. You cannot change a difficult person. But set boundaries. Communicate effectively that you understood. Don't take it personal. Take care of your good self. Focus on the positive. But and be patient. Seek support is all over. This place. Remember, you're not alone. And where you get space. Celebrate your successes. Brethren, the speaker, finally, I'm indebted to the technical team we have worked with as the opposition in parliament. It has technically backstopped us to work better. I hope my successor will take benefit of that too, so that humanity is served well. We are in occupation of this humble but not eternal space. I thank you for God and my country. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, love. Honorable members, honorable members. I want to thank you, Honorable Lop, former Lop, my commissioner now. You're now my commissioner and my staff. And we don't regret, me and the deputy speaker, we don't regret being your friends and we will continue being your friends. I have told even my party, you don't choose for me who my friends are. I will work with my friends, like uh, Honorable Segona is my dad. I will work with them. And even if we differ politically, but we'll work together for the good of humanity. And uh, you, you did a good job as law. And this country will forever be indebted to you. I want to welcome my young said your young brother for him is my son i want to welcome the lob to come and give his maiden speech lob you're welcome thank you all right honorable Speaker and members, allow me to say Happy New Year to us all. I want to take this opportunity firstly to salute the Right Honorable Matthias Mpuga for his service and for his leadership. 
He's led us under difficult circumstances, but uh, he managed to remain composed and to lead us through those very difficult times. And so I salute you, sir. I am lucky that we'll continue working together. So there's a lot that I'll be connecting with you and uh, learning from you and the other colleagues for us to be able to do this work. Right, honorable speaker and members, Rule 14.1 of our Rules of Procedure provides that the principal role of the leader of the opposition is to keep the government in check. By God's grace, I will execute that mandate effectively. And um, my hope, my hope is that I will get support from this house, not just my colleagues on this side, but across to do this work. Because you see, keeping the government in check is to the benefit of all of us here and the people that we represent. Because when we are pushing back against things like corruption, when we are ensuring there is service delivery, when we are ensuring that there is value for taxpayers' money, it's not for the good of just the opposition. It's for all of us. Because regardless of the political party you belong to, when you go to a health center and there's no doctor to attend to you or no medicine, you will suffer. If you're driving on bad roads because either the money has been abscatulated or whatever the case might be, regardless of the political party you belong to, poor service delivery will affect you. So my hope is that uh, I'll get the support of the entire house indeed in doing this work of uh, keeping the government in check. And so I believe we shall be able to agree on a couple of things in as far as keeping the government in check is concerned. I want to appeal that where we disagree, and indeed, we are going to have numerous opportunities to disagree. I hope that we can disagree respectfully and that there gets to be space to disagree and for divergent views. But otherwise, I look forward to working uh, with everybody to serve the people of Uganda. I thank you, Right Honorable Speaker and members. Thank you. Honorable member, thank you so much.